is the best tripod head for real estate photography? If you're a professional real estate photographer, you're gonna have to invest in a geared head. So what is a geared head? Basically, you're looking at all these little gears. Rotate, tilt, and you can really tilt with these and basically your X, Y, Z of every camera. And then there's dials. Dials that really dial it in, keep your horizontals nice and level, your verticals nice and straight on the edges, which is what you wanna do in real estate photography. You don't want angles going up or down with the walls. You wanna keep it nice and straight. You get a great professional geared head. It will save you so much time. Once it's set and level, I have a bubble level up here. Let me show you quick. Bubble level here. There's one on the tripod here. One down here, but this is the one I see all the time. And you can also have it on your camera. Once you level it, the floors are level, you're basically just moving this camera really quick. You're just adjusting, zooming in and out, and done. You move quick, you save so much time and so much energy. You must, must, must invest in a geared head. What kind of geared head? Well, right here, what we're looking at is the top of the line. This is the Arca Swiss D4 tripod head. This is the Cadillac. Now, I gotta be honest, when I started out, I didn't buy this one. I went a little cheaper. So there's a Manfrotto 410 that goes for about 325 US. You think, wow, that's still a lot. I could buy a tripod and a ball head for 100 bucks sometimes. Well, trust me, the first step you wanna do is looking at geared heads. This one that we're looking at, it is smooth. I've used it for over two years now. I've never had an issue with it. It's as good as it was on day one. So what kind of options do we have out there? Before we get to the Cadillac, let's look at what we have. There's a Benro GD3WH three-way geared head. That is the most affordable one. It came out in the last few years here lately. It's looking at about 225 US. So that's the bottom, not a bad product. Manfrotto, they have an X-Pro for 250, 410 for 325, and the 405 for 600 US. Now I found using the 410 or 405, they are extremely bulky, extremely heavy. There's a lot of metal in there. Even the plate on it is special. It's a much bigger plate than you usually use in photography. So this is the Arca Swiss D4. What makes it so good? I use the basic Arca plate up top. I bought an L bracket so I can shoot horizontal. If I need to shoot vertical quick, just flip it, pop it in place, done. And now I can shoot my verticals. I'm not playing. If you have a ball head, some of you might be familiar. Twisting it, turning it, leveling it like this real quick. I'm back to horizontal and I'm shooting. So the pros, it is compact, lightweight, extremely precise, easy to use, has two bubble levels, and it has an Arca type plate, which is universal in photography. The cons, very expensive. You're paying a thousand US approximately, give or take. You might find a used one out there, but it's a very specific product for a specific need. All the links are in the show notes below. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the alert button, because I will be reviewing more products in the future and giving you more real estate, photography, tips and tricks. Thanks.